miles into his 350 mile swim. The endurance swimmer stopped at Hailing Island in Hampshire where he met our science correspondent Thomas Moore. It looks quite like a CD rack or something. Yeah, Oysters not for eating but for saving the seas. Lewis Pugh is swimming the length of the English Channel to raise awareness of poor marine protection. Oysters have been overfished in the Solent for decades and now their future depends on breeding stock suspended in cages in the water. Uh, we think that the seas are bountiful, we think that they can rejuvenate themselves, we think that we can take out more and more and more and more, but we can't and eventually it does catch up with us. Our oceans now are on the verge of bankruptcy. I've been swimming for 30 years and I have seen them going from healthy and bountiful to 15 million oysters being caught here where I grew up as a young boy to completely collapsing. Ready? Yep. 23,000 oysters are dangling beneath pontoons in 10 locations around the Solent in a project funded by the Blue Marine Foundation. A generation ago, 15 million oysters a year were harvested from these waters, but the fishery was closed five years ago because there were so few left. Each one of these oysters will produce around a million larvae every year, which will be swept by the tides around the Solent. That's really good for the environment, obviously, but also for the fishing industry, which is heavily behind this project, because it means there will be oysters to be harvested by future generations. Lewis is swimming through a sea that's given minimal protection. Less than three square miles of UK coastal waters have a complete fishing ban. Other species could go the same way as the oyster. There are loads and loads of species around the British coast that nobody is looking at and we are extremely concerned about. Look at the whelk, look at the cuttlefish. These are, these are species that you catch in the English Channel and uh, neither of them are looking too clever and nobody is managing them. Lewis is drumming up support for his campaign as he heads towards Dover. The long swim isn't just about an epic human challenge, but poor marine protection on our coastline. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Portsmouth.